welcome back to the channel. Today we got something that's been stuck at the port of entry for quite some time because of the stop sale. So now the integrated brake system recall is in full repair swing. So this one was just repaired and dropped off yesterday. It is an individual Laguna Seca Blue. Yeah, you heard that right. So it's a color from the E46 M3 and then made its appearance on a couple other special edition things, I think. Most recently it was the F82 M4 Heritage Edition, Heritage Edition M, and now back as an individual color just earlier this year. It's available on many different models right now, just not in Spartanburg. So you get Laguna on almost everything except for the X3, X4, X5, X6, and X7 currently. I guess also the XM is in there. But we'll begin up front with the headlights. So it's the U11 chassis is for store inventory. You see, sort of like a reminiscent of what's on the 3 Series G20. Chassis is dual headlight design, shot line lights, and the cooling light right there. To the grill, we have M badging in it. And excuse the very loud fans, it's been sitting out. And it's also very warm today here in Mountain View. I know it's almost October, but this is basically the heat time for the Bay Area, at least for the most part. We also have the parking assistance camera, so it has at least the technology package, if not the premium package. Sensors are right there. This one does have Driving Assistance Plus, but you could also add Driving Assistance Plus after the fact. You just can't add Pro. Locked out kidney grill as well. Let's move to the side. We're All right, so move to the side. We have a style 872 MZ, or 20 inch wheels. And the wheel design is bicolor. We also have the M compound brakes with the gray calipers, reminiscent of what was on the M2 competition. But this is the first time seeing cross drilled rotors available from the factory on a car that is not a full blown M. So, first M performance car to have these compound brakes. We also have floating hubcaps. Take a step back and take in the side profile. I have to apologize. It is a little bit on the dirty side because, like everything else here at Mountain View currently, things are broken. So we have no AC, which has been extremely fun with the weather. And we're supposed to have another heat wave starting tomorrow. And the car wash has been down since Friday. So it is what it is. All right, so moving out back, you can see a roof spoiler. You got the wiper. And then we've got X1 and M35i badging in chrome with that exaggerated font size on the M. Now, we also have a quad exhaust, again, controversial, and a very large high gloss black rear bumper plus faux diffuser. All right, and taking Laguna Seca Blue out of direct sunlight. So it does have some color changing properties, if you will, despite it not being flaky. All right, so we'll go inside, go over pricing and options of this well-equipped X1. All right, so opening up, we have the black Vaganza with Alcantara. Now, there are only two sort of seat choices you can get with the M Sport Professional, this being one of them. The other one is the black and red. I don't think the black and red would have gone very well with Laguna Seca Blue, but maybe it would work. But that said, we do have contrast stitching in blue, which is not quite the same shade as the Guna Seca Blue, but at least it complements it, I think, rather than clashes with the uh, exterior color. Feels like Vagans up here on the door sill. And our M Sport seats, basically a, a very nice bucket seat with M badging and then sort of, um, I guess it's really M colors in the Alcantara. It's hard to see though and blue stitching. Now, this one has the active front seats with the lumbar support. So strangely enough, like this in and out is the lumbar support, up and down is the side bolster. You would think it'd be the other way around, but that's what it is. We also have a manly powered crumb catcher. And then on the door sill, nothing there. Strange for BMW to ha not have an M badge here or something. I think we're missing out here. Uh, Bindi M is sort of losing their marketing bill here by leaving this blank. All right, so on the inside, they got the air blowing because I mentioned it's warm. The car's been sitting outside 
So we got our M Sport steering wheel, not a flat bottom steering wheel. Might maybe that happened with the LCI. We've got M badging here plus M stitching. Over on the left hand side, we've got controls here for the active cruise control. And we've got the shift paddles here in high gloss black. Then we do have a red stripe at 12 o'clock. In front of me, I drive nine live cockpit. Plus, we've got the heads up display and the rest of the small ish curved display. And the trim here, I believe, is the aluminum uh, hexacube trim or aluminium. And more of that sense of tech on the top of the dashboard here, plus contrast stitching. I think a nice touch. Then you see some ambient lighting in here. We are in sport mode, which means you get some of the M colors here. Got our cradle here for our wireless charging, plus uh, cup holders and USB C charging ports. Center console area, so there's no iDrive controller, so everything is either touch or voice command. Got your drive selector nub and wheel for the volume. All right, starting price, the 2024 X1 M35i is 49900 bucks. The individual paint is 3000 That said, I know it's a lot, but if you think of things like uh, Storm Bay Metallic and Blue Bay Lagoon, you're looking at $1,200. That's not a terrible increase over the price of that thing, plus you get something rather unique on your vehicle should you choose to do it. Uh, the Vaganza is included, Driving Assistance Plus for 500 bucks. The M Sport Pro package for $1,100. The premium package for another $2,800. We got the M Compound brakes for another $700. Heated front seats and steering wheel for $550. Now, for $25, that's changed. So the steering wheel, I think, is the only thing that remains as an option. Otherwise, heated front seats are included. Those 872Ms are another $600. That's hard to see here. But everything else is included until we get down to, and get my hand out of the way there. Um, yeah. Luggage part mat, wheel locks, all other floor mats, floating hubcaps, first aid kit. All told MSRP of this particular example, 60825 So obviously it's a lot for an X1, but you do get a lot for your money. And being individual color, I think this is only our second X1 to have an individual color. one I think was Daytona Beach Blue. But let's get the box seat real quick. All right, so there's no comfort access on the rear doors. Just make sure the doors are unlocked. Here is the rest of the back seat here, plus the shade being open. So you got a little bit of panoramic glass plus the moonroof. All right, so here is a view of the cockpit from the back seat. So simplified and somewhat elegant design to get in that center console comes from the iX. And the moonroof and the panoramic glass, not too bad. Back of the seats, you do get a net there for storage. You do not get a third climate control zone. It is not an option. So the X3, it's optional. And you got USB-C charging ports for two people. Then you've got, I should say, two devices. Knee room leg room, I think, is pretty good. And headroom, not really much of an issue in the back of the X1. All right, we'll move to the back here. We can use our kick to open feature. And then cargo area, pretty decent size. Slightly smaller than the X3, I believe. And then you do get a little extra storage space down below. So it does not come with a space saver spare. The 28i comes standard with it. But you do get a mobility kit with your M35i. Kick to close. We'll go around the side with a light so you can take in Laguna Seca Blue because how often are you going to see a Laguna Seca Blue X1? Probably not very often. All right, we're going to go pop the hood. So, under the hood here is the B48 inline floor 2 liter turbo engine. 312 horsepower and 295 torques. So I think more power than you'll need for everyday use. But that's it for another look at an X1. It's had to wait a while for it because of that stop sale. But now available. So that's it. We'll see you at the next video.